Excuse me? Is this true? You're not coming by for this year's Thanksgiving? What in the world are you thinking? This is a family tradition we've upheld for years. And your absence would be more than noticeable. It would be a gaping hole at our dinner table. I didn't have a say in the decision. And it was Sean who said he didn't want to go this year, Stella. And honestly, I was looking forward to some quiet time at home. Maybe starting a new tradition of our own. Once again, you're blaming Sean. He told me because you seem to be busy. That he lied for your sake. He was trying to be considerate of your workload. And now, you're using it as an excuse? Did he truly say that? He told me that he also had plans, so he didn't mind me going to my parents' place. I thought we were on the same page about spending the holidays apart this year. Athena, you're not serious. Do you intend on going back to your childhood home? After all these years, you're choosing this moment to revert to old habits? Um, yes, that was my plan. It's my day off of work. I thought it would be nice to relive some childhood memories, to reconnect to my roots. Then you could come by yourself. There's no rule saying couples can't spend holidays apart if the circumstances call for it. What? Even though Sean's not there, I'd feel like I'm abandoning him on a day that's supposed to be about togetherness. Yes. You said he already had plans, right? So he wouldn't be alone anyway. He'd be busy with whatever he's planned. I also have plans to go to my parents. It's important for me to be there with them, especially since we missed last year. That's unnecessary. Who's going to pay for the fare? It seems like an added expense for a whim. But it's the only time of year that all my family can get together. We coordinate our schedules months in advance to make it happen. Aren't you supposed to be Sean's wife? You need to put your own family's get-together before your husband's. It's about prioritizing your new family now. No, no, it's just I didn't see my family at all last year. I feel like I owe it to them to be there this year. So you are needed here even if Sean won't be coming. Everyone's coming. It's the job of the wife to attend to them. To be the gracious hostess. No, I won't be going this year. Not unless Sean is accompanying me. I don't want to set a precedent of attending family events alone. Don't talk back to me. Mary is bringing her children. You will be looking after them. It's been decided. Why me? Why is it assumed that I'll be the default babysitter? Mary's exhausted with parenting. It'll be good practice when you have your own children. Plus, it's a way to contribute to the family gathering. I don't want to practice on other people's children. I think parenting is something you learn on the job with your own children. I know the word isn't accurate, but tending to babies might come in handy someday. Or what? Is there a reason you don't want to come to us so bad? Is there something you're not telling me? It's not like I don't want to go. But without Sean, I know I'll feel out of place. It's as if I'm half of a whole without him there. What? That's absurd. You're your own person, Athena. You don't need Sean by your side every minute to feel complete. Is it, though? And also, my sister just had a baby. I want to go see my family, to hold my niece or nephew. How can you be so selfish? You leave Sean all alone while you work all the time. You never come by our house. It's like you're avoiding us. Never. I pop in at least once a month for dinner. It's not much, but it's what I can manage with my schedule. That's the least you could do. I think it should be more often, because someone has to work pretty much every single day. We never get to see you. It's like you're a stranger to us now. Well, there's nothing I could do about that. I have to make the bread. It's not just about money. It's about fulfilling my professional goals. As I said before, why don't you quit your job already? It's taking too much of your time. Time that could be spent with family. It's not that easy. I can't just quit my job. It's part of who I am. And I've worked hard to get where I am. It's not something I'm giving up lightly. It's only handing in your resignation. You're never at home. You don't make the time to have children. No wonder Sean stays out late all the time. It's as if you're living separate lives under the same roof. And that's not what marriage is about. If I don't work, there won't be food on the table. Sean uses up all his earnings on stuff. 
I can't make him stay home all day. It's not just about being present. It's about contributing to our life together. And right now, I'm the one doing that. It's your job to keep the books as his wife. It's not like Sean earns minimum wage. He should be able to pay for living for the two people. Aren't you the one spending it away? You need to take control of your finances and steer your family in the right direction. I could never. I haven't even bought new clothes for a while. Every penny I earn goes into our joint account, and I've been nothing but transparent about our finances. Of course, wives should put their husband's needs before themselves. Everything comes before you. That's the sacrifice you make for love, for family. What? That's an antiquated way of thinking. Marriage is a partnership, not a hierarchy where one person's needs consistently overshadow the others. Besides, no one would care whether you're in fashion or not. It's not like there's someone you want to impress. You should be content with what you have. Not always looking for more. No, there isn't anyone else. Never mind. There's no use in getting sense into you. You're stuck in your ways and I'm tired of justifying my choices. What did you say to me? You're speaking as if you've given up on trying to make me understand. Is that it? I won't be going to your place this year and that's final. I need to be getting back to work. My career is important to me and I won't apologize for that. Hey, wait. We're not done with this discussion, Athena. You can't just walk away from family obligations and expect there to be no consequences. We need to resolve this. Hey, why aren't you home yet? Both Sean and I are starving. The aroma of the dinner I've started is wafting through the house. But it's not the same without the main chef here. What? Are you at our house right now? I wasn't expecting anyone, especially not with the house in such disarray. Of course. You said you two weren't coming home for Thanksgiving. So instead, I came to you. I thought it would be a nice surprise. A little family gathering at your place for a change. But wait, didn't Sean have plans to go out today? I have to go to my parents tomorrow. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. Oh, don't worry about that. I already contacted them. I thought I'd take matters into my own hands and sort out this little misunderstanding. What? You called my parents? What for? They must be confused now, expecting me tomorrow. I told them that I was coming to yours this Thanksgiving. So Athena won't be traveling. Word for word. I thought it would simplify things. What? You don't get to do that. You can't just rearrange my plans without consulting me first. You don't get to decide whether or not you'll go see your parents. Who do you think you are? You have responsibilities here. Who am I? I made plans with my family. How dare you cancel them? I have my own life to live, you know. You dare defy me, Athena? You are the one who married my son. Therefore, you are obligated to listen to his mother. It's about respect. Yes, I married your son. That doesn't mean that I have to do everything you say. I'm an independent person with my own will. Oh, yes you do. From now on, You'll answer me, yes ma'am, or nothing else. It's time you learned some manners. No way, I'm not your slave. I declined your offer months ago. I cannot allow you to dictate my life. Don't talk back to me, young lady. Shut up and listen to my orders. You need to understand your place in this family. Nope, I tried on many occasions to make you happy, to put your demands first. I didn't need your permission to go to my freaking parents' house. Stop acting like a brat. You're the one acting like a brat. All you need to do is what I say you do. You are my son's wife after all. It's about family unity. Doesn't make me enslaved to you. Why don't you have some bonding time with Sean? I will be seeing my family as scheduled and you cannot stop me. Huh? That is not allowed. Who will make us our meals in the meantime? We were counting on you. You can cook yourself. There's some stock in the pantry that should last you a few days. I don't live there just to make dinner. Oh, don't be cheeky with me. Your husband's mother came to see you. And you won't even try to make me feel comfortable without coming. 
announced canceling my plans without permission and also demand to take care of you. You're not the queen of Sheba. I make the rules in this family. Your job is to do as I say. It's about respecting your elders. I'm sorry. I can't be your obedient servant that you want so badly. I changed my mind. I'm going straight home to my parents. Make yourself at home. Now, wait a minute. You're not coming home today? After all the efforts I made to come here? Nope, I have work stuff with me. I left clothes at my parents that I can wear. I'll be heading back after Thanksgiving. The hell you are. You do not understand the consequences. You're making a big mistake, Athena. What did you have in mind? What could possibly be worse than this conversation? I'll tell you. Change your mind and come home. Now, it's your last chance to make things right. No, thank you. I've made my mind up. What? You're choosing your parents over your husband's family? I would rather have fun with my family than being enslaved. Have it your way then, Sean too. My presence shan't spoil your fun. Fine. Do whatever you want. Don't come crying to me afterwards when you realize the gravity of your choice. Okay then. I'm sure you'll manage just fine. Goodbye, Stella. You're coming back today, aren't you? The house feels empty without you. And I can't shake the feeling that something's not right. I arrived just now. What's going on? It seems like Sean's stuff is all gone. Place looks different, almost unrecognizable. That's right. Sean and I moved out. We thought it was time for a change. A new beginning of sorts. Sean and you? Living together? That's quite an unexpected turn of events. Huh? We were talking about it for a while. Living together, it seems like a practical solution. How come I haven't heard of this? This is the first I've heard of such a major decision. That is because this is the first time I'm mentioning it. Oh, and I have a message from Sean. This is all your fault for leaving me to myself. If you want to know where I am, you'll accept us living together. Huh, is that so? That's quite the ultimatum. I'm not sure how to process this. You see, I live alone and with you, never at home. If Sean and I live together, it'll take the burden off his shoulders. I already took care of him by myself this past week. Right. Too bad, because I can't do that. It's not something I can agree to. Huh? Why not? It seems a reasonable arrangement. Sean has a girlfriend, you know. Someone younger and prettier than me. It's a complicated situation. What? A girlfriend? You mean he's having an affair? That's scandalous. Guess so. I'm thinking on getting a divorce. It seems like the only logical step forward. Divorce? Wait. I've never heard of this. This is all news to me. Sean thinks I don't know about his girlfriend. In reality, I've known for quite some time. <laughs> it's almost funny when you think about it. Hold on a second. Huh? What? I don't understand. What are you going to do about it? This is a serious matter. Will you keep it a secret from Sean? You know, he has temper issues. Me bringing the news will only make him stubborn and not agree to the divorce. Then what are you going to do? This is a delicate situation. Can you tell him for me and make him agree to get a divorce? It'll make it easier to introduce you to his girlfriend. What? That's a big ask. I'm not sure how to approach this. Well, I looked into his phone. She's actually nice, although she's still a student. She also works part-time. She said she wants to live together after getting married. You might as well get your wish. Really? That's quite the development. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Yes, and she loves to cook. She seems to even pack him lunch on occasion. To be honest, I'm not comfortable in the kitchen. I'm strong-headed. Or so you describe me when we get together. Who knows? You two might actually get along. <laughs> that may be so. But are you sure about this? It's a big decision. I think it's best for all of us. She might give birth to three grandchildren you desire. She's younger and healthier than me. You said you wanted to hold Sean's child in your arms. I did. But this is all happening so fast. I need to process this. Then don't say a word that I know. 
to Sean for your future, for your grandchildren's future. It's better this way. Fine then. Now that I won't have to see you again, I'm starting to miss you. It's strange how that works. You're just tired from moving. Don't mind about me. Get some rest. You've had a long day. That's the only quality about you that's worth it. But there's no use anymore, is there? You both don't love each other. It'll only hurt you more. I guess. Thankfully, most of the appliances are still left behind. I'll start a new life here. It's a fresh start. Okay. I'll talk to him about the living situation. It's the least I can do after all this. Thank you. If you can get him to sign the divorce papers and send them to me, I'll take care of the rest. It's a clean break. I'm really sorry about everything. We should have talked sooner. This could have been handled better. Take care of the new girl. She's a catch. She deserves a good family. I hope you take care of yourself. You're strong. You'll get through this. You too. Take care, Stella. We both deserve happiness. Thanks for sending the papers. Now we're officially divorced. This is really goodbye. The finality of it is sinking in. And I feel a mix of relief and apprehension about what the future holds. Good. Sean didn't want to go through with it. But I'm glad I was able to persuade him. It took some doing. But I believe it's the best for everyone involved. Me too. I'm thankful for that. Finally, I can have my freedom and have a life for myself. It's like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders and I could start anew. Yes. And I can actually get ready living with my son and his new wife. I've got loads to do. It's a new chapter for us. And I'm both nervous and excited. Yeah, I got bad news for you. It's not going to be as smooth as you think. What? What do you mean? You're speaking in riddles, Athena. I mean, she's still married to the wedding. Won't be happening anytime soon. It's a complicated situation, more than you know. What? Married? That's a bombshell. How could this have happened? Uh-huh. A double affair, if you will. And she's not intending on getting divorced. You know how it is. These things are never simple. Just wait a minute. You said she wanted to live with us. That was the plan, wasn't it? I lied. So that way you'll be able to get him to agree. It was a necessary deception. You lied? I can't believe this. You've played us for fools. Didn't think it would work out this smoothly, though. But sometimes life surprises you. How dare you? You manipulated me. This is betrayal. Indeed I did. But Sean seemed serious about the relationship. Buying her tons of stuff from his earnings, of course. It's really messy. Debt? My Sean? That's impossible. He's always been so responsible. Yep. How much was it now? Well, about two million. It's a staggering amount. Two million? Are you kidding me? That's a fortune. How did it get to this point? The numbers increased by the hour. <laughs> it's a sinking ship and it's sinking fast. Wait. This is a lie too, isn't it? He goes to work regularly. He's a hard worker. But he spends his salary only for his own activities. There isn't a penny left in his bank. It's all gone. What the? This is a disaster. What are we going to do? In a nutshell, there's no way it'll work out unless you intend to provide him with food and shelter. It's a dire situation. I can't do that. It's not feasible. I don't have the means. I think so. You never worked a day in your life taking care of a debt-ridden son charged with alimony. Impossible to say the least. Alimony? What are you on about? You got your divorce. But you're also taking his money? It's my right as an ex-wife. It's the law, after all. You never hinted on charging for alimony. That is just dirty. It's underhanded. No, it isn't. You made fun of me all these years. Threatened me when you moved out. It's come up and... So that we could live together. It was supposed to be a fresh start. It was perfect timing. I've been trying to get that trash out for a while now. It's a relief. You fool! Don't you dare call my son trash! He's your husband! What else then? A normal man wouldn't be debt-ridden without having a double affair. It's the truth. There must be a reason for that. Like, you weren't compatible with him. It takes two to tango. Me? 
I've been working my ass off to keep ourselves alive, putting my needs afterward. And you're making this my fault? It's unfair. It always is. If you would earn more, he wouldn't have to borrow money to survive. It's a wife's duty. Why do I always have to pay for a lover's needs? Are you insane? That's not my responsibility. Are you insulting me? How dare you? I won't stand for this. How dare me? I'm dead serious. I endured your bossiness and my husband's affair. All for this. It's been a long road. Have you known this all along? You've been plotting this? I sure did. When was it? Our two-year mark? I knew it the whole time. You picked on me. The whole time your son was unfaithful to me. It's been a nightmare. I was a good mother to you. I tried my best. All bad mothers say that. It's a classic line. What do you mean by that? I know you meant it with malice. You're being cruel. Like I'm going to explain it to you. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm so glad I got this over with smoothly. Thanks for your cooperation, really. It's been enlightening. No way. I'm not allowing this. You are not getting divorced, and you will pay off all the debts. I'll fight this. Not my responsibility. The trash made its own trash to deal with, and the divorce is already finalized. The only time you'll hear from me is to discuss the alimony. It's done. No way I will allow this. I refuse to accept this outcome. As I said before, I don't need your permission. Get mad all you want. It won't change anything. I am coming to your house. Stay there. We're going to settle this face to face. Oh, I moved out today. I don't live in that house anymore. But it's a strange feeling to leave behind a place so filled with memories. But it's for the best. <laughs> what? Where did you go to? You can't just disappear without a trace. You have unresolved matters to attend to. I don't need to tell you that. You're just a stranger now. Our relationship was severed the moment those papers were signed. My whereabouts are my own business. What? You do? We're moving in with you. We had plans, remember? You can't just change them overnight. Oh, that's scary. I'll be calling the cops if you ever show up. I have a right to my privacy, and I won't hesitate to protect it. Why, you little... This is outrageous. You're acting completely out of line. I already talked with my lawyer. No matter how long it takes, I'm getting that alimony money. You should know I can be persistent. Don't come crying to me, okay? It's only fair after everything that's happened. No, no, wait! Please reconsider this, Athena. There must be a way we can resolve this amicably... Let's not make any hasty decisions. For a while, I was inundated with texts from both Sean and his mother. Their message is a constant barrage on my phone. It all came to an abrupt halt after the day my girlfriend's husband decided to pay a visit. That confrontation must have given them a new drama to occupy their time. Sean's girlfriend, who seemed to be so committed, suddenly refused to get divorced and unceremoniously dumped Sean, leaving him bewildered and alone. But I'm steadfast in my resolve. No matter how long it takes, I'm determined to get that alimony money from him. It's not just about the money. It's about the principle. Now I've started a new chapter of my life in a new house with my loyal dog by my side, enjoying the peace and quiet that was impossible with Sean's chaos. I revel in the tranquility, the freedom, and yes, I love my new life now. It's everything I ever wanted and more.